Hey guys, and welcome back to the 12 Days of Crochet Christmas. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be sharing quick, beginner-friendly patterns that are perfect for gifting or decorating your house during the holidays. Today, we're going to make a wine glass lanyard to match the wine bottle cozy that we just made a few days ago. If you're excited about the 12 Days of Crochet Christmas, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single pattern. For today's tutorial, you will need two colors of medium weight yarn. I'm using Bernat Super Value in the colors Kelly Green and Berry, but of course you can use any colors that you prefer. You will also need a six millimeter crochet hook, a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook, a tapestry needle, and a pair of scissors. For our wine glass lanyard, we're going to take our main color and our six millimeter crochet hook, create a slip knot, and chain 25. After you chain 25, slip stitch to the first chain to form a circle. So being careful not to twist, insert your hook into the very first chain, yarn over, pull through that chain, and through the loop on your hook. Now for round one, chain one, and we're going to single crochet in each stitch around. So starting right here in the same chain that we slip stitch to, create your first single crochet, and then continue to single crochet in each chain around. And as usual, our first row is going to be a little finicky, and the rest of the project will be a lot easier. Now you should have 25 single crochet in this round, and then once you reach the end, slip stitch to that first single crochet to join. Now we're going to move on to the waistcoat stitch. Now the waistcoat stitch is the same stitch that we used for the wine bottle cozy that we made a few days ago. I'm still going to be explaining how to make the waistcoat stitch, but I went into quite a lot of detail in the wine bottle cozy. So if I don't provide enough detail for you today, go ahead and watch that tutorial first and then come back over here. Now for round two, we're going to chain one and we're going to waistcoat single crochet in each stitch around. So to do that, Here's our next single crochet. For the waistcoat stitch, we're not inserting our hook into the top of the stitch. We're inserting it right in the center of that single crochet. So insert your hook right between the two legs that make up the single crochet. So you can see we're right in the middle. Now do the same thing for the next stitch. So we have leg one and leg two, and we're going right into the center. Now continue waistcoat single crocheting in each stitch around. And just like I said in the other video, the first row of waistcoat stitches is always the hardest and it takes a little wiggling around to get it in. But once you're done with the first round, it gets easier. At the end of round two, Go ahead and slip stitch to your first single crochet of the round. And this is where we're going to change hook sizes. So go ahead and grab your 6.5 millimeter hook and chain one. Now before we continue, I wanted to explain why we have this hook change. If you're making this lanyard for a wine glass that looks similar to this, we start small so that it hugs the bottom and then as the glass grows, we have to make our stitches bigger so that it wraps around and doesn't just squeeze tight at the bottom. And if you're making a wine glass cozy like this one, it has the same sort of shape. So we'll be doing the same thing for both of these. If you're making this cozy for a glass that has straight sides, you can go ahead and continue using the six millimeter hook. Now, after you switch to the 6.5 millimeter hook, we're going to continue repeating round two. So we're just going to waistcoat single crochet 
in each stitch around. And we're going to repeat that for rounds three through 11. And it's actually a whole lot easier to do this with the larger hook. So I will meet you at the end of round 11. Once you reach the end of round 11, we're going to switch to our next color. In my case, I'm changing to red. So to do that, insert your hook into that first single crochet like you're going to join. Grab your new color and wrap it around your hook and pull it through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Now chain one to secure and then pull those loose strands in the back so that it's nice and tight. Now you can go ahead and cut off your green yarn. Now for the next two rounds, we're just going to repeat round two with our contrasting color. So just waistcoat single crochet in each stitch around. And I will meet you at the end of round 13. At the end of round 13, go ahead and slip stitch to join. And now we're ready to make our lanyard or the necklace. Now I like to switch back to my six millimeter hook to make the lanyard because it makes our stitches just a little bit tighter. So once you switch back to your six millimeter, go ahead and chain 80. Once you've chained 80, you're going to skip the next 13 stitches. So this is where we started. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we're going to slip stitch into that 14th stitch. So making sure that your lanyard isn't twisted, go ahead and insert your hook. Yarn over pull through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Now to make this extra secure, we're going to chain one and single crochet across our chain. So we're just going to single crochet from this chain on. And of course, whenever you're making your chain of 80, this is just the length that I felt worked the best. But if you wanna make yours longer or shorter, feel free to do that. Once you reach the end of the necklace, go ahead and slip stitch into that same stitch that you started from. Then grab your scissors and leaving a couple inches for your tail, cut your yarn, then yarn over and pull all the way through to tie off. Now all you have to do is weave in all of your ends and you have your wine glass cozy. Now to put this in a wine glass, you're going to put the bottom of the wine glass in first and then push it through just like that. And of course, you're gonna have to find a more graceful way to do this when you have wine, but you'll figure it out. So that's it for your wine glass lanyard. Now, of course, all wine glasses are different. I'm also going to make a cozy for my wine glass, but my husband's wine glass, his is actually wider than mine. So you might have to go up a hook size, again, depending on what your wine glass looks like. It's gonna take some trial and error, but the general pattern is the same. Now, if you were going to make this wine glass lanyard for an actual wine glass without a stem, you could follow the same pattern, but because this wine glass is a lot taller, I would add more rows of green, all probably up until you reach here where it says Mama Shark, and then I would add my two rows of my contrasting color. If you want to create a base for your cup, you can, but I don't see the need for it because either way, it holds up perfectly. 
Tag me on Instagram at Sigoni Macaroni or inside the Facebook group with all of your makes. And remember that over the next few days, I'm going to be sharing a quick beginner-friendly giftable pattern for the 12 days of crochet Christmas. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single pattern. I'll see you in the next one.